Well, I got something interesting for you today about uh, harmonic balancers, I do. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Today, I want to go over a few things I picked up. For one, I picked up a new dipstick tube for the old Blockerooski. I found in the harmonic balancer. So, basically, what's going on here, this is going to be kind of a serious video for you today. No cocking around here. This is just plain ball serious. So what I ended up doing is I got a truck six liter LS. It had all the truck balancers. And of course this has got a big chunk out of it. And I'm putting it in my safari van, as you know. So I need to get everything closer to the engine. I don't have to, but I want to because I got to move stuff anyway. So my biggest problem was finding pulleys. What I ordered here is I ordered myself a 2005 Chevy Corvette, six liter. So the balancers are the same, but it's for a car. So as you can see, it sits in a lot further than the truck balancer, like a lot further. I ordered the uh, water pump that's closer to the block as well. So if you have yourself a six liter, I'm not gonna guarantee this until it's on, which we should put it on actually and find out, but I'm pretty sure this balancer is what we want. So let's get the camera over there and we'll slap the balancer on and see. So as you can see, I'm not gonna get very far tonight because here we go again. Roast. Roast. I'm good at doing this and you're gonna laugh at me, but I'm good at doing this. I don't think I have a socket that fits that. Where the fuck would I have a socket that fits that? Unreal. Nope, don't have a socket for it. So guess what? Balancer isn't going on until I get a socket. But I'm telling you right now, that balancer is gonna go. And see, once it's in, this here pulley will be lined up to the center of this, which is right about there. I'm pretty sure this is a balancer I want, and it's gonna work really good. By the time I get this pulley in, this is a cog I'm gonna use, and that will be to the center of the water pump by the time I get it in. This one here is normally for the uh, air conditioning, but I'm not gonna use that one because my AC in the van is up here and it runs off the same belt. So I'm hoping that somehow I can make it so it comes around like this up. So it's gonna have to, the alternator is gonna be here. So the belt's somehow gonna have to go around through here, down around to here and up to the, no, it's gonna have to go down here. Oh yeah, it will go down here from the alternator, around, around here, up to the friggin' air. Are you watching this? Probably not. So the belt will go from the alternator down, around through here, up around through here, and around that. Like that, for God's sakes. Decent. That's gonna go across here in the way of that. Hold on, I'm trying to think here, Jim. Down, up, around, we'll have the tensioner. Tensioner here. Why don't you just call it Operation Ass Cream, you ass. I don't know. Anyways, we'll figure that out together when it comes time for that. We'll figure it out. There we go. I'm pretty sure this 2005 Chevy Corvette balancer will work on your 2500, 2003 Chevy 6 liter. Jim? I'm almost positive. But like I said, I'll let you know for sure in a little bit here. But there we go. So we got that. So that's good to go. I've got one of the coil packs on just to see how it looks. And the wire's hanging off of it. Looks horrible. I can't stand the looks of that. We should have got some remote coil somewhere so I could have moved them, but they don't look too bad, but they're there. Let me let's stick these in the hole, pretend that there's spark plugs in there. I haven't bought spark plugs yet. Look at that, Jim. That looks friggin' awesome. It doesn't look bad, actually. I can deal with that. I got them cleaned up pretty good, so they look pretty good. So I just gotta do that the other side. I wanna get two screws to hold them because they're not staying on because the manifold's not on yet. I, got, I did find some 80 pound injectors, like I said on the last video, so they're coming. I bought a new oil cap, but being the stupid asshole I am. You kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> I didn't really need it because remember it was long necked? Well, yeah, all you had to do is take the cap head out of there and stick it in there. So thanks a lot for that, for telling me about that. I appreciate it. Not one person commented and told me I don't need one. What's wrong with you guys? But hey, at least we have an extra cap. Friggin' right we do. Oh, oil dipstick. See if we can't jam this into a hole or two. Actually, don't want to jam it in too hard. <laughs> And the reason for that is I want to rebend it and move it so I can get to it. So the dipstick goes in this hole right here, goes onto that hole right there. So that's where it goes, but I want to bring it down. I want to kind of give it more of a curve in here so it comes more straight out, which shouldn't be bad to do. 
But I don't want to stick it in the hole just yet because it will go right in as soon as I'm ready for it. So I'm going to miss that spark plug. So a plug like that, put another little bend here and uh, this, that, the other thing. We'll fabricate that one, Captain. I'm good at changing them. But I still have my old dipstick here somewhere. Thank God I didn't throw that son of a bitch out because I would have been There she is, boys. I'm friggin' there. She's a tidy. There we go. Hey, look at that. So that will go and be here. So I'm hoping to have it right about here somewhere. Is where I'm hoping to have it at the end. So you can pull it straight out. Or the alternator is gonna be there too. So maybe there, maybe here somewhere. Anyway, we're gonna have to clean that up too because that can't go on. But I'm hoping to put the alternator somewhere here. Right about here somewhere. Hey, what do you think? Leave a comment down below. I'll probably put it right there. It's not gonna line it up if I put it there. It's gonna have to almost be here, like that. That's where it's gotta go. Somewhere there. It's gonna be in the middle. So we can use that hole in the block as part of my alternator bracket. We'll get this figured out, Jim. But anyways, it's just a short little update on the harmonic balancer for a LS truck engine that you want to move everything closer to it. There you go. Actually, I can use that hole to make a bracket to mount the top of the alternator. We got this figured out. This is gonna be mint. Actually, I can use that as a bracket for the top of the alternator. Oh, we got lots to work with. We're gonna do some serious fabricating around here. We can even use that for something. Cut some holes in it. Man, oh man, there's a lot of friggin'. There's a tensioner I might be able to use. Oh, that's for the AC, it's narrow. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this little video. It's just a quickie, little chatter up with me. I'm gonna go inside and try a new carpet cleaner we got after I get the part for it that was missing in the box and it ran all the way back to Walmart and got for Stacy. What was that dude's trip, man? Leave any comments down below, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Look at the size of that hole. And you know what to do for now.